Old man? No. Did you know that the monster cereal did not always feature the ghost shape? The original shape, at least calling this for Count Chocolate, was a circle with a cross in the center. Welcome to Crazy Counts. I am bored, man. I might be the Raven. Today we have a monster mask special for all of you. Now, this has been one of our like favorite traditions since growing up. The monster cereal is just a like, part of our childhood. We got the little guys right here for decorations. And this year we are trying three special snacks. I think these food snacks came out last year, but we're trying these today. We'll also be trying Fruit Boot, which is the first return in, I think, about almost 10 years. And then before that, like the 70s or 80s, something like that. It was 31 years before that. Yeah, 31 years. You guys can do the math. I don't care. And this year, they also made Monster Mash Pillsbury cookies that actually taste like Count Chocula. And for whatever reason, Frankenberry, Blueberry. I'm sorry. And this is just a special video for us because it means a lot to our childhood. And on top of that, I went to so many stores looking for this shit okay and i'll explain as we get to each item and let's just get into the video this is so many hell yeah look at the little packages they're not that big no but they're like so many yeah 90. do you think they're gonna taste like the cereal no i know why because one of them's count chaka and he's purple on his head well they also have a castle which is not any of them do i have all the people do they all taste the same or different? I think they have different tastes. But the tastes are not like that strong of flavors. What do you make them out of 10? It, doesn't Betty Crocker also make like, the fruit roll-ups and all that shit? I don't know. Well, I feel like the flavor could be better for these. Like, they're not bad. Well, the shape and the colors are okay, but because they don't taste that much different, I'm literally, I sadly have to give these. They're still okay, so I'm going to give them a 3. I really hope these aren't bad. I got 90. You can only buy these in wholesale. I'm gonna try like the very different colors to kind of compare better. They're just average food snacks. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing bad with that. You just kind of expect them to try harder. So, um, I want to give them higher because they're just average, but I guess in that regards, they would be a little disappointing. So I have to give them a three though. If you're going to eat them, don't expect them to be like, ugh, appalling. Just don't expect them to be exciting. And we're gonna film these in multiple days because we can only eat so much cereal, cookies, and food snacks in one day. Very late at night. It's time to try this. It definitely smells sweeter than Frankenberry, but still smells kind of in the same regard. I'm gonna try some dry force. It's a little different than Frankenberry. Money shot. Yeah, taste in line with all the other products. Very uh, fruity. I feel like the flavor could be a little bit stronger, especially when in milk. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not all fruit though. It's on the picture and it says in the box it's cherry. But it's a little bit different than fruit boot. Um, so I can see why they did and didn't keep it. It's very hard to decide, right? Cause it's not bad. I just don't think it's that like extraordinary. Like we're definitely eating the whole box because it has that iconic monster cereal kind of taste to it. But it's just it's it's not some, that special. I actually like it. This slightly modified it though. It'd be a really, it'd be pretty good because you don't get a cereal that has a. If it has a flavor like this, it's there's a few like they don't just solely have this as the flavor. So what do you give it? I'm gonna give it a seven because I would like to see the flavor slightly modified, and because I can't compare it to Frankenberry like right the second. Yeah, well you gave it probably what I was thinking about giving it a seven, and now it's time for cookies. They smell really good. They smell like the cereal at least. Frankenberry is okay. Different than regular Pillsbury cookies, so. If you like more than just a sugar cookie, highly recommend. Yeah, I'll give that a 7. Tastes like Frankenberry. Tastes really good. 
and the cone chocolate, which you're kind of surprised that there's not a chocolate Pillsbury cookie beforehand for like the mini ones. Really? No. You've never done chocolate. That's just weird. I probably make regular chocolate Pillsbury cookies. They're okay. Doesn't have the strongest flavor, and when it does, it's just more average chocolate. I'll give them a six. They're pretty good. Might change it to a five if yours also doesn't have a strong taste. Dude, this looks like pink Yoda. <laughs> what is this? Just five. <laughs> the Frankenberry is definitely an interesting and fun taste, and it definitely reminds me of Frankenberry. The design of them could be a little bit better. Like, he only has his head, and this one has his body. Like, I think that's a little weird difference. Um, other than the design, the flavor is actually very good. It definitely reminds me of Frankenberry. Like, this is very spot on. I would give that one an 8, actually. Maybe it's just because we tried Frankenberry first, but... I, it just... has a flavor. Uh, uh, it does have a strong flavor. And it doesn't taste like average chocolate to me. It does remind me of the cereal and stuff. I know. And it does have, like, a bit of, like, the marshmallow aftertaste to that one, actually. I, I think just that think one... if we tried it first, it would seem like a stronger flavor. I think it had a good flavor to it, and I would give that one... I'm gonna give that one a 7, I feel like, because mainly, I think that one's a little easier for them to do. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as we did. We got places to be, videos to edit. Hope you guys have a good night. Been waiting so long for the Raven, then they finally got here. And forgot the Max. Any day now. This has cool. a full name. It's Count Alfred Chocula. Oh yeah, he needs a first name. It's Alfred. Hi Yoda. Y you done being a little cunt? Awkward with you being that close. It doesn't look that close. If you was that close. <laughs> There's a lot in that package. I don't know, they, yeah, they fit a lot in here. Sometimes I just before like nice cereal, okay? Let's see, oh no, it does have a bag. Okay, that's good. We were so worried it wasn't gonna have a bag. It didn't seem like it. You were worried. You were worried. It's good, actually. I'd hope so. It's another food, not least. This motherfucker just opened the cereal the whole way. Huh? It wouldn't open. Got oh, I have to get my ranking? Yeah. I think I'm gonna wait. Reminded me initially of one of, like, the Trix flavors. Dry, that is. It's almost as if that's food Wow, cereal. I have two marshmallows in mine. Oh, you can eat just that little bit. I'm just saying, that's pretty bullshit. Why did you mainly cook the Count Chocula ones? I was zoomed half and half. I didn't enough to do the video. <laughs>